Good day, everyone, and welcome to another exciting vocab lesson. This is week number one for my eighth grade students. And here's a list of the words we're going to learn this week. Ascend, wily, spurt, leery, scuttle, and agitation. So let's jump into the first word this week and learn what it means. The first word this week is ascend. Ascend. And that means to move upward. So this is a verb. So it's an action, something that you do. And as you can see in the image here, this man is ascending a mountain. But ascend doesn't just mean something you do physically, like you climb. It can also mean something spiritual or emotional as well. Maybe you just broke up with someone and you need to ascend your feelings for them. You need to get over them, move forward. Um, if you have a challenging test that you fail, but you want to work hard and do better at that test, you ascend or you move up. You, you graduate, in a sense, to become better. So synonyms for this word ascend would be climb, escalate, lift off, move up, soar, take off, arise, fly, rise, or tower. Ascend. The next word this week is wily. Wily. Now this is an adjective, so it's a descriptive word. Describe someone or something as wily. And this word means cunning or clever and deceptive. As you can see in this classic Disney movie, uh, this is Snow White, and this is the evil witch. And the evil witch could be described as very wily. She's always out to no good. She's always up to no good. She wants to do evil in the world. She's cunning. She's sly. She's always very sneaky with her intentions. So she's presenting Snow White with a delicious apple. But really, we know deep down that this will, will bring harm to Snow White. So synonyms of this word might be cagey, scheming, shifty, sly, sneaky, cunning, deceptive, greasy, insidious, or tricky. Wily. The next word this week is spurt. Spurt. Now this is, a, it can be a verb or it can be an adjective, the way you describe something. So if it's a verb, it's an action. So we're describing something that is spurting. So like the, in this image here, this water is shooting out quickly in a stream. That's what spurt means. If you have a water gun that you're playing with your little brother and sister in the backyard, the water is spurting out of the water gun. Um, water can spurt out of the water fountain at school, and it can hit you in the face if it's too strong. So synonyms of this word might be erupt, squirt, splash, surge, outburst, explosion, jet, rush, and stream. Spurt. The next word this week is leery, leery. Now this word means suspicious or untrustworthy. Now this is a descriptive word, so it's more like an adjective. You might be leery of something. So maybe you are afraid of roller coasters and you go to a theme park and you see the ride. You are leery that it will be safe. You're nervous. Um, so you could be leery of a person as well. Maybe someone's very untrustworthy, like in this image. The detective is searching for the leery criminal who committed the crime. So leery is when you are careful, cautious, distrustful, skeptical, uncertain, unsure, wary, or doubting. Leery. The next word this week is scuttle. Scuttle. Now this is a verb. It's something that happens or can be done. Um, and it means to sink by cutting a hole in something. So as you look at this image here, this ship is sinking or being scuttled into the water. This is not a good thing if you're on a ship, unless you know how to swim, of course. Um, but it's, it happened to famous ships all across time, like the Titanic. It was scuttled by the iceberg. Synonyms for this word would be sink, abandon, submerge, or sabotage. So, so someone could scuttle a ship on purpose if they were trying to sabotage it. Scuttle. The next word this week is agitation. Agitation. Now this happens to each and every one of us every day. Something or someone can agitate us. And it means when something or someone brings you anxiety or nervous excitement. A test can agitate you. A friend can agitate you. An enemy that you have at school can certainly agitate you. Traffic agitates a lot of adults. They don't enjoy uh, slow traffic or people who they feel can't drive. So synonyms of this would be disturbed, angered, frustrated, perturbed, and flustered. Agitation. Well, thanks so much for joining us this week. Again, this was week one for my eighth grade students, and the words this week were ascend, wily, spurt, leery, scuttle, and agitation. Thanks so much. Hope to see you again next time. Bye.